begin by taking a roll. Bob Detoma? Here. Sean? Here. Andy? Here. Justin Stone is here. Uh, we are missing uh, Holly, Lucas, Mike. and Mike um, from the meeting. As the, from town attendees, we have George, Carmen, Stan, and Walter um, from the Legion and the VFW here to discuss uh, several things on our agenda. So, um, first off, I just noticed that reorg we already handled last time. I uh, should have removed that from the agenda, so we will not go through that. Approval of previous minute meeting minutes. Uh, Sean, you sent out two BAC minutes. I did. Is, was one of them? Well, one when I went through my list, I hit the wrong date. Okay. So, but I resent the correct date. Someone told them so. Yeah, someone. Yeah, I, yeah. I saw. It. <laughs> Okay, so, because um, they're both titled Veterans Advisory Committee. I know. Well, so we'll need, we'll need last it. year's in September. Well, no, this, this is the new one that you sent out? Okay. Yes. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's Veterans Advisory. Is, is this trustees? Oh, shoot. And I didn't notice I, it until oh, all right. just well, now. I well, haven't had a chance Why don't we just out. table so, yeah. approving minutes till next meeting, and then we'll yeah. solve that. Okay. Yeah, so we'll table the approval of minutes. Yep. All right, so I asked y'all here because um, we've been talking and gathering a lot of ideas. There's multiple things that we would like to do um, with the, the trustees. And some of this will kind of bleed over into the Veterans Advisory Committee, um, but for the most part, majority of these fall under the Trustees Committee. Um, so just kind of want to go through this stuff. Um, the first is a rededification of Samson Square Memorial once they get that up. Um, when we all went out there, you know, when we were first talking about this, we had talked about, do you have it, you know, around Memorial Day, before Memorial Day? We really don't want to take anything away from Memorial Day. Um, so looking really at a date and how do we want to do it? And uh, we'd love to get, you know, y'all's input on that uh, to come up with a plan and if you'd like to do it on me. on a day because of the new grass that's there mm -hmm. and stone and then they have to cut the trees back to put our american flag there before not before i'd like to go to next spring yep. and, and say like april or may, uh, early may prior to memorial day which is in may um, where the grass, that, that new grass they put in and what they, what else they've got to do there, some, they've got uh, construction of some benches they want to put there. Walkway as well. Yep. And if, it, if we go there between now and before that, and it gets rainy, it's going to get muddy. Yeah, and yeah it's going to be April. Yeah. 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 Well, and that's why, I, you know, it's like it would be nice to have it done before Memorial Day, but I'm also kind of thinking that, you know, maybe if you did it towards the beginning of summer, we'd be out of the rainy season. You would think that the grass, yeah, like June time frame, weather would be nicer. Um, well, in June, it, it, like in our last meetings, I don't know about the, the <laughs> meetings, but in our last meetings, like we have our last meeting of the year because everybody splits the Cape Cod, sure the Maine. Yeah. Yeah. It, because you're not going to get the abundance of our membership. Right. right. I mean, myself and Red would be there and stuff, but I know a lot of the other guys uh, would like to be there. Now, if we had it before, as that went along, and that gave the cemetery guy to get get a flag up there yeah. and get that where it's comfortable, where we could even be down here prior to the dedication just to walk around and sit around. And um, prior, and then when it comes to like uh, like Red said, late April or uh, in early May, and then after the dedication, then you're going to have Memorial Day. Have it before Memorial Day, and it's dedicated. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, of course, running in the paper, uh, whatever we're going to dedicate it, the VFW American Legion. At that time, I think it'll give us a lot better. Where we can put a detail all together mm -hmm. instead of we wait until that that summer and that yeah. uh, guy's no, gone. Yeah. Just a thought. Yeah, we can chip in here a little bit. Yeah, please. Why not? 
Why not do it on Flag Day, which is in June? June 14th. And put a brand new flag up and dedicate the, the square with a brand new flag this, on Flag Day. This flag, this June, Whether it's this coming June or... Oh, it'll be next year. Yeah, it'll be next year. Yeah, June 24th. Yeah. 14th. 14th. No, June, 2020. June 14th. Uh, yeah, yeah, 2020. Sorry. 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 Yeah, well, that's, that's a good idea. It would yeah, we'll give you a, 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 a holiday, a, a patriotic holiday to do yeah. it on. And... Uh, yeah. To rededicate the square on that day. What about what when when you do that? If they have Flag Day, they're going to have it down at the at the park, correct? Right? Don't have to. They haven't had it in the last couple of years. Haven't had it at all. Yeah. They haven't since, had it for a while. Since Phil Garcia died, there's been nothing down. Yeah, there. exactly. So Flag Day, basically, you need a flagpole and and a, and a ceremony to go around it. They don't have to have a concert. Don't have to do anything else. You I do. thought it was going to be reinstituted. I, I mean, it, after they haven't had it a couple of years, there, right. where I was, I thought we had. But there's, there's no, there's no committee down there anymore. So also, uh, I think the, the last one was was living in Phil Garthia's house. Uh, if you did it on that day, it would be June fourteenth. Yeah, yeah. On a Friday. Yeah. On a Friday. It's a Friday. Yeah, that's the plus. I have one question. Mm -hmm. You're going to rededicate it as Samson Square. How much do you guys know about Joseph A. Samson? You can Personally, learn a lot between now and June 14th. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Do you realize Joseph A. Sampson basically would have left Worcester County in the term of being in the service? He uh, right. went into the service from Grafton, South Grafton, got as far as uh, Fort Devens yes. in 1918. And I never knew this until I read it. In 1918 was the first big pandemic, or what do you want to call it? Spanish, 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 Spanish flu. They killed him. And Jordan Sweet, he didn't make it. Uh, apparently, it, it ravaged Fort Devens because the guys didn't know what they were dealing with. They had 50 or 200 sick guys under one tent. And, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and we're fortunate we know these things now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But my point is let's not go overboard. And we used to refer to him as a war hero, and Lavo Blair. He was, he was in the service. No question about that. But uh, he was in the service probably less than two months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. Well, and for me, I was thinking more about, because I didn't know the history, I didn't know that Samson was in the military, was actually the memorial itself. Yep. Like, it's yeah. been moved, put it back, hey, right. you know, we're going to do a rededication of the memorial, putting it back in its mm -hmm. place, kind of thought. Um, but now I'm wondering, you know, with the history or the cultural Maybe one of them want to be involved, maybe running some advertisement on yes. the memorial. The know. fact that he didn't uh, <coughs> get the service doesn't mean well, that, no. doesn't mean yeah. heck of a lot. He no. still he put himself up. he put himself out there, yeah. right. and the town was showing the respect for him for a guy that was in the in the military, and, mm -hmm. and the Spanish flu got him, and right. they just uh, created a path for him. So you could you could. Do a history on what his MOS was, what his job was, what yeah. was he with the artillery mm -hmm. division or whatever he was. I don't with. think he got that far. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 right. no, it, it sounds like he did. You got the basic. He still had to be assigned to a unit yeah. that would have probably gone on to <laughs> enter the into the war or something. Mm -hmm. But uh, right. I mean, I'm sure you can get enough information on the guy to make it worthwhile to yeah. mm -hmm. rededicate the place for him. Yeah. yeah. So your concern is you don't want him to be. He's not a war hero. You don't want him right. built no, up over right. and above. Right. Right. Exactly. Don't get a little yeah. blown because right. yeah. But you could but you could say that say a lot of nice things about him. He did it, he did his, his duty and imagine having to him join the yeah, service. Imagine whatever. having that just ripped out from under him because he got the Spanish. Someone would have to research all that stuff, but you could yeah, put mm -hmm. something nice. If you told that about. story, people would probably find it very interesting. Right. Yeah. That whole story is right on. I found that all this information on the internet one day. I no doubt. Just bunch of Joseph A. Samson. It's complete with pictures, believe it or not. Yeah. Ancestry. Four three. Twenty twenty four. Four three does the same thing. Oh, okay. Okay. I know the same thing with Wentz with. Wentz. Wentz, right up the street. Mm -hmm. uh, the man was in the Army Air Corps. He died off the coast of Florida in a uh, training accident. Mm. Yeah. He, he, he's got a square. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The Walter Armack Bridge, on the other end of South Grafton. He died of tuberculosis. Yeah, and that was, so. and 
that's a family memorial. Yeah. That's interesting. And those are the, those are the three named memorials in town. They're all South Walters, bad guys. <laughs> yeah. 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 But uh, it's a big bad guy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the point of the information. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. You're right. Um, so I, I do know we've talked gathering volunteers for this stuff has been hard. Uh, Sandy just mentioned in July and June, people tend to split. Do we? I like the flag day idea. Um, yeah, I think it's good appropriate. It, is this enough time to maybe round up some support? Within the Legion and the VFW to, to we can always this. put a color guy together. Exactly. Okay. Right. Yeah. That's not a problem. I didn't think too long. You know, having a parade, that's a problem. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. But we can uh, between the between the two posts, mm -hmm. we can always put a color guy together. That that shouldn't yeah. be a problem. Okay. Yeah. You know, and then a speaker, someone mm -hmm. to tell about the man or yeah. whoever, Justin, one of the guys in the committee can do that, or, or Stanley from Self Grafton, I mean, uh, yeah, can put something together on that, but we, we can always muster up a, a mm -hmm. color guy on a just <clears throat> to reach out to the community, so to speak. It, it's right across the street from the school. Flag Day is, as you said, a, a holiday. We communicate to the school department, mm -hmm. bring, bring all the kids up, it's, for it. it's within their purview to, to say, Hey, listen, you know, let's show this, you know, we're honoring the flag. We're not, you know, we're not traumatizing the children. Right? Right. Is the school though in session in June, June 14th? Um, what, yes. What day is it? Flag day out. It's, it's Friday. 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 It's all right. Elementary school will be in session. Elementary school, school yes. Okay. High school would, seniors, yeah. turn and, and early. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but they're down okay. the It should be, and, it, and it's at the end of the school year, so they're kind of like winding it down anyway. On the rededication, would, would it be Sampson Square or Sampson Park? Yeah, I think it should be park rather than square. Yeah, because it's a triangle. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to make it build. Yeah. Well, it depends. Is there There's a sign right there? No, a it's sign? A square. Yeah, there is. It's a square. Yeah. yeah. Are you going to yeah. re, re, re buy a sign or, or whatever? That was, that was. And it depends. And again, it depends who buys. Is it a s s town road, city, state road, and who, who bought or buys the. Yeah, it's state. It's, it's a state, state road. road. Yeah, put it some money into state it. Road. So maybe we can't change road. the signage. I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm not from that part of town. Like I said, I'd like to leave that up to these guys that are from South Grafton. But yeah, yeah. I mean, Sampson Square, Sampson Square, as far yeah. as I'm concerned. Yeah. I, okay. it, 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 it yeah. wasn't yeah. okay. It wasn't a square to begin with. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was a. Right. Piece right. Of property, but yeah. So yeah. I don't think anybody's going to say it's not a square anymore. Gotcha. Okay. And then. Everything remains the same, except you have a nice place now instead of something that nobody ever went to, except yeah. for Memorial Day. Right. Mm -hmm. Now they can have a sidewalk, a couple park benches in there and stuff. And it's, it, it's going to look really nice when it's all all done up, I'm sure. Yeah. Is there anything with June 14th, like uh, Veterans Day, where it has to be the 11th month, 11th day, 11th no. hour? Is there anything like that? I don't think so. Okay, so we could have it during the daytime yeah, with, 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 with the schools mm -hmm. in session mm -hmm. versus having it at five o'clock. You could have it with the schools in session. And you could you could yeah. coordinate the school to get the kids over there in that parking lot area. Right. Yep. 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 And yep. see the dedication because otherwise, any other dedications we've ever done, whether it's the bridge down on Depot Street or something, you just get a handful of people. Yeah, right. Well, that's all right. Yeah, you know, yeah. You don't. The, kids, the kids will actually be learning the history than all your life. Right. So you could, and one, one thing that I like about Flag Day is the fact that we're talking about the flag. Right. We're not talking about men that went to war and died or those that didn't, you know, different things like that, you know, that the other holidays represent, mm -hmm. you know. So just honoring a flag, I mean, I, I feel like this is a, a golden opportunity. And, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Teaching, teaching, yeah, teaching, yeah, 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 right. So, 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 and great. Yeah. So, and, and we could say, hey, we don't want if we can reach out to the all the schools, not just the one across the street, yeah. but in yeah. the very least, the one across the street. Yeah, um, there's a, I mean, there's a whole, there's a whole spiel on the flag, mm -hmm. too. We're talking about the colors, the stripes, the significance of everything. Yeah, um, I don't think it's a poem, I think it's just. What well, Mr. Wayne always reads a prayer on Flag Day, and it's, it's a discussion of how the flag became the colors that it is. Yeah, yeah. And it's very, the, very impressive what I've heard him read. 
read throughout the years when he mm-hmm. reads that whole it, it takes a little time yeah but it's 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 some yeah. things that even I think a lot of us didn't even know about yeah. how it came about of why it was red white and blue yeah and uh, he, 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 it's a certain prayer that he it's a prayer right. and it's very impressive yeah, so that, yeah. that makes the you know the, the ceremony twofold you know you can you're going to recognize Samson and rededicate the square as mm-hmm. Samson Square, and at the right. same time, you're going to, it is Flag Day, and you're going to give an education on what the flag means. Right. Yeah. So it'll be a good. good. And I think it, that, that sounds good. At, at the same time, when we send the <clears throat> message to the school, maybe we get a copy of your what you you just talked about that yeah. prayer, and we attach that to it. So listen, this is part of the reason why we want. We'd like. To invite you, or would like your attendance, well, yeah, and you know, to let them know that it's going to be more than just a bunch of old guys standing there going like this. Unfortunately, it's really embarrassing. Is when you can't get the flag all the way up. I'm serious. We've been there, not us, but we've been there. Am I right? Right, not us. Mr. Potoma, can we borrow one of your excellent microphones for said occasion? If, you, stuff, if you're looking for an audio system, we don't have audio systems, okay. but you can get one for the municipal center. Okay. I think the rec department has one. Yeah, someone's got to go. Yeah. And a lot, a lot of times at Memorial Day, depending on where you, like Memorial Day, depending on where you are, you can't hear anything. Well, that, this past memorial, they, this past they, memorial they, was, they didn't have the volume turned up high enough. It, was, it could have been turned up a lot more than that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And, you know, and like when I was speaking, when Walter was speaking, it sounds good to us because yes. it was behind us, but it, it needed to, the speaker needed to be in the common, not behind us. Yeah, right. And I think if we had done that, the people in the common would have heard better. So it was a, okay. it was a live and learn on that new yeah. way yeah. We're, we're doing the parade yeah. up there. So we'll. Uh, but yeah, we uh, we could hear ourselves fine, but I, I got it from my wife and everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bob and I found out when we did the Fourth of July parade this year because last year that happened to us. The speakers were in front and no one could hear. We did it behind everybody, and no one complained about not being able to hear the music yeah. this year. So yeah. we just have to be better, be better audio people than uh, than we think. You know, because uh, and I was it was too bad because we had a very Pretty impressive crowd this year. Yeah, we did. It was really good, it especially like along the streets. Yeah, it was, it was perfect. It was too bad that had to happen. I was pissed, but my wife and you know, my daughter's well gave me a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> oh. and I said, "Listen, I'm sorry, wife. Like, we don't practice this, you know. We just put together that morning and we go yeah. with it, you know." But I don't want to misspeak or, or but there are some. I know when I was working at the college, we had a group called Lens and Lights, and this group that was there. It was a club, but their job was setting up for events. So maybe we can enlist or recruit someone to come in and volunteer for the day of these different events, not just this one, but others, and have some. It's semi-professional, and they're really good. I mean, it's not like we couldn't. Uh, I know, but you got yeah, stuff to do. Uh, so no, I'm just saying it's not like we can't hire someone to do no, it. The, yeah, the, you know, the, the town pays for that, so it come out of the budget. Yeah, that we have for Memorial Day, okay. so we could put a sound truck out there or something too. You know, if we wanted. Well, we don't. It's expensive. We <laughs> looked at it. For yeah. The parade. yeah. Well, maybe or maybe not. I mean, like I said, the speaker that we use, <laughs> that we use, is very loud. We yeah. just didn't have it turned up high enough. Yeah. Okay. So, and it was positioned wrong, so I, I think we could get away with that again if we did it right. Maybe do a sound check in the morning. Or yeah. Something, you know, but, uh, okay. Um. Any other questions or comments on the rededication? Yeah, I got one more question about that. Mm-hmm. Does he have any family? He did have a brother. Walter, yeah. He did. He had any, a brother. Any granddaughters, any great granddaughters, any 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 family bloodline still around here? I, I, I don't know. I know he had a brother because his brother was there on a Memorial Day probably about 12 years ago. He was there and he, he was reading, he read it. He went to the stone and he was reading the stone and he says, that, that's my brother. A grandchild. Uh, uh, he had to be a grandchild or something. He couldn't have been right. his brother. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was somebody that was related. Family. 
Yeah, and somebody from family. the family. Yeah. It was. It was. It, I know it was a gentleman because I saw him, and he was elderly. I know no Simpsons. Because uh, he town? would know. I don't know if there's any Simpsons in town. Is there? I can run a scan on yeah, him, uh, on him specifically through Ancestry, and pull up all of his all of his relatives as on, as far back as they have records for. Uh, I'm not not work too too concerned about earlier than him, but you know, since so grandson or grandson or granddaughter or something like that that, that may may still be alive mm -hmm. that we might be able to search out. Yeah. Say he passed away so young he might not have might not have had the chance to have yeah, yeah. No, but he's he had family. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. He had brother, brother, yeah, brother it was quite a few yeah. Samson, yeah. Just a thought. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. No? Okay. Kevin, Kevin Wood so lives down here in the ballpark. He, yeah. uh, right next to the I think he, Wood Library. Yeah. That's true. Uh, his father's, well, his uh, gra grandmother, I guess, was a uh, Samson. Samson. Yeah. Woodward. Kevin. Kevin yeah. yeah, I think some relation there. Right? But, um, okay. Okay. Anything else? Oh. Okay. So the next item is a plaque to uh, remember Jim Gallagher. This is something that we talked about. Uh, the VAC, the Veterans Advisory Committee, were planning a Jim Gallagher Memorial Walk slash run. Um, not a competition or something, but kind of similar to a 5K, which is not going to be racing because I don't think, well, besides Bob, none of us actually race anymore. Um, and yeah, so we're going to do a memorial event for him <coughs> with that, but we'd also talked about a plaque. Uh, he's been, he was, him and Andy were instrumental in getting the, the old cemetery flagpoles, so we talked about maybe there, placing it there. Uh, and Fortunately, with this committee, we are limited in funds, as well as with the Veteran Advisory Committee. So we wanted to talk to you all about if you know that's something that y'all are interested in, and is it something that maybe we can go in together on, and just getting some kind of memorial plaque. <laughs> I, 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 I talked to Andy briefly about this, and he had mentioned over here on the square, over here. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Oh, yeah, we'd also oh, talked okay. about that, yeah. But that has already been dedicated by the state of Massachusetts. Yeah. At the Lyle Goulet Post American Legion Square. Yeah. Okay, so okay. you don't want to mm -hmm. put anything in there. Away from now, I knew Jim Gallagher, uh, you know, just from the top, but I always saw him more on being involved, although he was a veteran, Vietnam veteran, he was a member of the Post for 30 something years. Yeah. Post 92, he never drank, but he was a member. And I know his son, who, you know, supervisor of town and stuff mm -hmm. but he was more recognized as a person that was at town meetings right. and all this kind of mm -hmm. stuff he was more of a town guy i think a, the appropriate place for a plaque for him would be at the municipal center not so much in a in a right. veteran's spot right. i mean he's a veteran mm -hmm. but we have a lot of veterans that right then what are we right I'm mm -hmm. assuming he's on the wall up there. I don't know if he, no, I'm just, yeah. I don't think, yeah. he should be on the plaque up there. Okay. Yeah. He should be on the vet, the Vietnam veteran plaque up there. I, I can't remember if I saw his name or not, but he should be. He, he, was, he, was, he was living in, in Grafton recently, but was, was he oh. Grafton? Was he from Grafton? See, I, I don't know. And then I, and I, I don't. Don't. enlisted over right. Grafton. He may be, right. I don't know. Yeah. But, but that would be an appropriate place, you know, maybe up in the front uh, somewhere as you walk in the door on the wall yeah. or, or something, I think, more so than putting them in a, in a veteran's type thing. That's my opinion. No, but the, to, to continue with that, the only, I, I'm, for me, negative to that is that hall, veteran's hall, is at one end has a plaque on them, like Charlie Bolak and such as that. Now, they, it's called the Bolak Room. Yeah. The, the senior center has the Bolak Room. That doesn't mean it's the, but already named the Veterans Hall. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and maybe to what you're saying, like the other idea we kicked around was the ball field, Ferry Street ball field. Yep. 
you know, that I think, you know, I think that may be the more appropriate place. And then for, you know, for have what? A, for a plaque for Jim. To call it what? The Jim Gallagher? Maybe we dedicated the, you know, the Jim Gallagher field at Ferry Street or something to that, if the town would go along with that. Sure. I, I mean, I'm, I'm just being devil's advocate, advocate here. I'm no, not, I agree. I'm not yeah. against, I'm not for, or whatever I'm just saying. Yeah. But if you did that in South Grafton, you'd ruffle the feathers on a lot of people that would say that it already is Paul Bassinet Field, isn't it, down there? It's isn't that McNamara Field? Little, is it McNamara, McNamara Field? Yeah. Already? It's oh, right I don't know. So okay. Henry, I've only Henry referred McNamara. to it as a Henry field. Henry McNamara, McNamara Street. Paul Bassinet. I mean, there was all these guys uh, that were, uh, you know, that were big Little League coaches yeah. and all that kind of stuff back mm. in the day. So you have to yeah. Yeah, Okay. Yeah. Right. Them guys. Yeah. <coughs> well, then maybe well, we can't do Nelson Park, which left yeah. the entryway to the TV studio. Don't they build them right in? Yeah. yeah, you could do I that mean, he too. Did, you know? Yeah, he did so much for K. You know, TV. Plus, he was, he was on the committee. Right. Yeah, uh, maybe that's appropriate. More yeah, than, yeah. Kind of right up, right opposite the police chiefs. Yeah. So yeah. Not, so okay. Not, okay. Not, not, yeah. Not, yeah. Plus, you don't need any permission to do it. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you got it. Yeah. I, can tell. I know a guy. Yeah. <laughs> he can be the start of something out there for the, uh, yeah. the veteran advisory committee. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. But it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily have to be a veteran's flag. Well, don't we want to honor him for his service? For his service yeah. to the yeah. town. Yeah. As a civic leader for the town, I yeah. Yeah. list off, that's every, how I list saw off Jim as many down. things as, we, as he was. Uh, had his fingers in oh, right. a lot. I don't right. know if we can make a flag that big. Right. He, he was very instrumental in the town. Well, there's yeah. a lot of wall space around. He was, yeah. he was at every town yeah. meeting, any any yeah. televised thing. He was always a speaker. He always yeah. had yeah. So for that, I was telling you, we might be able to go to some of these other people and say, hey, yeah. I want a little bit of funding. We're going to do something for Jimmy, and let's let's do it as a group. That that's what I'm thinking. I okay. we didn't want to step on y'all's toes. If if you had a connection and and uh, well, that's just know, what I was thinking. He, he was, Jim was a great guy. I mean, I sent out a newsletter to my members at the post, and and, and he was one of the very few that always sent back comments on the newsletter and stuff. Yeah. He always came back to me yeah. and said yeah. stuff. So he was he was into it, you know. Yeah. Uh, yep. Whether oh, yeah. it was the veterans of the town or whatever. Right. So mm -hmm. he's deserving of a, yeah. you know, a plaque for sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think. Um, I think with this, yeah, there's some that we can get the town to put some funds in. I think they go that way. route. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Any other comments or questions on the plaque? All right. The next item on the agenda, I'm going to turn over to Sean. Uh -oh. I've been talking too much. Uh, he had mentioned uh, wreaths for Memorial Day. Right. Okay. So you remember last year we did a lot of, yep. I'll, say, I'll say, inventory of the wreaths. I took the opportunity today to go to the shed and borrow one just to give everybody an idea of what we're looking at. And they're showing their age. Okay. So we, our groups, of, we're talking about, okay, can we look into buying either all new or some new ones, enough new ones, so that we don't have to do this juggling like we do every. No, absolutely. I'm all for it. They're, they're they're pretty expensive. I looked at in the book to see how much they were. Yeah. You know, and that I right. remember off the top of my head because we've considered buying some new ones. Yeah. We went through and got rid of the real bad ones this past yeah. year. But we could, uh, and and I could start a uh, at my post, and Stanley could do the same thing. I mean, we could we could put a box out there, you know, donations for new wreaths, mm -hmm. and see what we can. Muster up. I mean, people are pretty generous with that right. kind of stuff. Okay, but we need to figure out how many we need. That's right. I, how many I, do we have? Uh, I, I think we have forty. But uh, right now, right now in the shed, you got twenty-five. Twenty-five. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Uh, there was some more someplace else, but I'm not really sure. But that's those are the ones we call the good ones. And how many <coughs> are necessary? And well, we we're gonna have seven. What do we have? Seven. Um, well, markers now at every uh, cemetery. Six, so, six and some. Yeah. Because is it six? Uh, I mean, yeah. do we have to get one for Space Force or, uh, or whatever? You know, I mean, we have. Oh, that's right have, too. Yeah, we have another. Uh, you know, uh, if we have a veteran from the Space Force. Well, sooner or later you will, I guess. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and one of the things that we had talked about is maybe it's um, maybe we don't buy all new ones. But you know we rotate, so like we'll buy 
more this year, and then next year we replace some of the really old ones. So and, will, and, will, the, will the town kick in anything for this? Um, this is one of the things that we had talked about, seeing if, what our budget was okay. and spending uh, some of our money on it. I wish I had brought my the book with me with the, with the wreaths. So I should have done Well, I, I took a picture of the, uh, <clears throat> we need 72, but we're going to put a wreath at each memorial in town. Right, Sean. We're going to need a bus to carry the wreaths around. No, no. I'm saying if we if we get if we can get more, right, and we can pre-position them that way that we're not carrying them. We get off the bus and they're sitting there, maybe behind the stone or something to that effect. And then the wreath detail goes there, picks them up, and as opposed to what we're doing now, we're, we're setting them down, picking them up again, up, taking them to the next place. Right. right. Fair enough. And um, so I just did a quick Google search of some wreaths just to get an idea of what they might look like and pricing. You know, they run the gamut. Like this one is twenty three dollars. This is a twenty inch. It's overall twenty inches. Is that the same size as that one? Yeah. yeah. And then the other one, had, uh, another vendor was uh, forty eight to sixty nine dollars. Right. So depending on you know. But cheaper by the dozen. Well, we haven't got, yeah. And you know, yes, I guess I, I will say this also about that, though. If we're going to do that, yeah. I mean, we're pretty sloppy. We, we don't have any hangers for it. Yeah. It would be nice if we bought some oh, hangers. Oh, I agree. Yeah. Instead yeah. of dropping them over the thing, yeah. they're just the laying little on triangle. Over the yeah. frame, you know, mm -hmm. we had, had a yeah. hanger for each of them, and they could right. look really nice there. But, um, yeah. Does, okay, so I'm going to ask. The random question does anybody do crafts because looking at that i mean that's a fairly easy build it's yeah. just the styrofoam wreath with some ivy and a couple of flowers and a bow yeah um so if we know anybody that does crafts and we got two very very, <laughs> very uh accomplished boy scout troops in town they make wreaths and they sell them every every christmas time and when did those come from <laughs> you know, I'd have to see. I think we, I'm sure we bought them yeah. at one yeah. point. I don't know if I have an invoice. Uh, but they're not very elaborate. No. Okay. I'll, I'll ask Holly. This is she's our end. Yeah. Yep. Well, see, see, see if they could. I mean, the the uh, the the uh, rings. Uh, they some some of those are Michaels or Joanne Fabric. Yeah. 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 Joanne right. Fabric. You know, then you got to get the brass that go. You know, the metal that goes. But they got that too. I mean, it, it's just a matter of assembling it. Uh, yeah. You know, I think what more. you'd have to do is you'd have to price it out. Yeah. Right. And yeah. see, you know, if it's yeah. gonna, if it's going to be eighteen dollars to yeah. have someone build it, and twenty three dollars to have it get you. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. You have it now. <laughs> yeah. No, I yeah. agree with yeah. you there. But you say like, you say sixty nine dollars. Well, yeah, no, yeah, we can make three of them for that price. Something mm -hmm. like that would be what we normally have. So, well, you know, I, I I keep going back to the sixteen hundred dollars for for twenty uh, the twenty three dollar one for seventy. Yeah, 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 right, right, yeah, yeah. Well, if we go that route, or like you said, we we. It's, we always talk about the Boy Scouts. We're always Girl, Girl Scouts too. You know. Girl Scouts. All right. Yeah. All right. Scouts. Yes. But <laughs> you know, and I, I like to also try to involve the school department in some way, shape, or form. It be at the school department or the tech schools. Mm. We got Assabet Valley at one end. We got Blackstone at the other yeah. end. You know, and you know, maybe you have them. Hey, in their wood shop, they cut the rings for us, or something to that effect. You know, or metal shop, they make metal rings yeah. for us. You know, just just some. Like, not so much to get them to do it, but maybe a little community involvement. Because I, I feel like the more we talk about stuff, the more we're getting word out there. Yeah. And I, and I'm, I'm kind of like I like this to do stuff like that because I don't know about you guys, but I feel like people are forgetting so much. Right. And we're trying to get patriotism or civics mm -hmm. back in the schools or back in people's minds. This is just a simple little thing. We could, hey, would you guys do this for us? And this is why we want it. Maybe we don't. Uh, again, sixteen hundred dollars. No, I agree okay. with you there. But that's for seven. Right. So if we bought thirty-five this year, yeah, and any of the 
good ones we have, we'd have enough, and then we bought another 35 next year. Yeah. That's only putting out about 800 bucks yeah, right. this yeah. year and $800 yeah. Yeah. next year, and yeah. we could probably raise that. Yeah, right. And in our last meeting, I think we did mention phasing in, if it, if it yeah. was a big nut to crack, phasing in, buying them. The only, the only negative to that is the fact that, okay, where are you going to put the good ones? <laughs> That's, you know, obviously not the common. <coughs> larger number of memorials the, the, on the outskirts. The thing is the storage of them, that's how they get right. ruined. Right. They don't stay out there. No, I know. Oh, yeah, they don't. up that day. No. Yeah. But if you don't have good storage, you know, like we have maybe one good Tupperware thing we put them in yeah. and cover on it and right. stuff. Yeah. And the other ones yeah. are just sitting in the shed, right. getting mildew right. and everything else. And storing them dry is, is right. Is so too. if they right. get wet, store yeah. in the second story here. We got storage up in the mezzanine. Okay, if you put in a nice tuple, you know, the big yeah. tuple. Yeah. Yeah. Anything you want. Even the bags, you know, they've got like those reeds bags. But I, I understand because now we're talking, you know, originally it was just reeds. So mm -hmm. $1,600 for reeds, but now we're talking hangers yep. and bags and all of a sudden the cost is coming up. So I actually like the idea of seeing if we can get people to make these. Maybe the senior center, you know, if we yep. come up with this is what we want yep. and, and you just kind of Here's, you know, put this here. Maybe the hangers, those things are pretty simple. It's just metal, you yeah. know, those connected. Mm -hmm. Maybe the tech schools can make us that. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, we have some time now that I think we can at least ask these questions. Sure. Mm -hmm. And if not, yeah. you know, um, doing 35, that's a little bit more doable with our VAC budget, I think. Yeah. Um, it's something that we need to talk to and bring to the committee, but on the on the reef holders themselves, yes, you know the poles, mm -hmm. they're metal. Ninety nine percent of them are metal. Yeah. yeah, that would be something that we possibly could get Blackstone Valley, mm -hmm. somebody to weld them for us, mm -hmm. spray paint them, and. In other words, it, it, they're a very simple thing to make yeah. where you hang that reef on yeah. and it sticks into the ground in right. front of each monument. Right. Uh, where they could build those, besides what he's saying about the, uh, with the reefs itself, yeah. but I guarantee you in a metal class, a welding shop, mm -hmm. one of the schools, they could build those like nothing. Yeah, yeah. I think our experience with the schools, though, if we decide <coughs> that that's what we want to do, we, yeah. need, we need to talk to them tomorrow. Yes. Yeah, basically. Or, because or, their or, lead time goes yes. like this. Or, yeah. or yesterday. They're planning for uh, uh, early 2024 already. Yeah. Okay? And we want it by Memorial Day, which is May 30th or, or thereabouts. Uh, we yeah, gotta, be we've got to get into their yeah. schedule if we're going to okay. have them do it. So, talking about the, the hangers themselves, we could improvise with, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen these at the garden shop. They have these metal stakes that you put in and then you, you kind of put them around those tall. You, when you have flowers that grow tall, they put these, these things around them. We could improvise with something like that yeah. and on short notice and they're, they're quick and easy to get. So, oh, yeah. So I was yeah, thinking yeah. all you need is a, is a pretty tall piece of a stout steel. Yeah. Goes yeah. Straight, hook, straight, hook, straight, straight hook, stick it yeah. in the ground yeah. and it's got a hook at the top and you yeah. hook the thing right yeah. on it. Yeah. And so oh, one pole, no, no tripod type thing. Right, right. exactly. Just, just the yes. pole that goes in the mm -hmm. ground. Yep. With the hook on the top, and you just stand the, uh, the reef on it. Okay. And, uh, as as long as you don't drive that through the irrigation pipe. Yeah, right. Uh, right. You know, <laughs> for the new flowers. <laughs> um, can you reach out to Blackstone? Sure. I'll, yeah. so yeah. I'll go up and talk to Shannon tomorrow. Okay. For Blackstone Valley? No. For, um, you go senior center. I'll go there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. See okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll do yeah. BBT. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, yeah, because if we can save money there, then we might be able to do them all, replace them all this year, get some extras maybe, and then um, we can use our money to buy three bags and Tupperware for them all. I, yeah. I, I would say just big Tupperware. Yeah. 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 They stack yeah. pretty good. We have, yeah, that's stack. A, yeah. The ones that we have that are in good shape came out of the big. The big Tupperware, uh, yeah. I don't think Tupperware, but they're yeah. made out of that yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. Go to Lowe's, send a veteran to Lowe's, yeah, get 10% off. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Awesome. All yeah. right. Um, if we run into problems with any of this, um, then we'll start looking at 
purchasing the work prices. I can talk, we'll look at, the committee will look at our funding and then I can also talk with Jeff. Yeah, I can, and I can start, you know, funding, yes. A collection, <clears throat> sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Okay, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Collect okay. some money for new leads, a post, you know, people will drop a buck, five yeah. bucks, and before you know it, you've got a couple hundred dollars. And, yeah. You know. mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, no, that'll work. And, uh, and we'll just, we'll get however many we can. Thank you. I agree. Uh, any other questions, comments on the wreaths? So the last thing on the agenda is uh, Veterans Day events. So I know last year um, the church did something around the same time. There was some, some issues with conflicts. And we spoke a lot internally with the committee about, you know, we're, we're not trying to take over. We're not trying to step on anybody's toes. But how can we help out? And we kind of viewed ourselves, maybe we can deconflict these schedules. So um, we started reaching out with Joan at the, the church and um, talking with her about what their plan is. And that's kind of what we want to do this year is, is maybe help out as far as, okay, here's the BFW, here's what you're doing. It's at the Legion. It's at 11 o'clock on November 11th. The church is doing services at this time. Um, it is, I verified it is not going to be on Veterans Day. Um, and then that's something that we can get out through our channels through GCTV and we can post that agenda out there to get spread word that there are various veteran day activities. Okay. Uh, we, uh, <clears throat> so we're host post this year. We yep. did DFW last year. So we'll be doing it in our backyard over here at the pavilion area, which is so, veteran veterans day. And, uh, and we'll have, uh, we have the flag out there and the eagle and everything. The, the pavilion area is all closed up, but it's a it's a good look. It's, it's nice, yeah. and uh, and then we'll do you know the ceremony, which doesn't take long. Like last year, I invited the chief there. I think he got there after it was all over. It took like <laughs> six minutes, I think, yeah. you know, to get the thing over with. You know, was it? Was it? Yeah. yeah, it was your, it was your yeah. place. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I said it. I said it's, it. It goes off at 11 o'clock, you know, so. Yeah, right. <laughs> you yeah. got to be here at 11, you know. Yeah. Anyways, um, it'll be over here, and then we'll have, you know, a, a light lunch for everybody in the post after that. Um, and it'll be at 11 o'clock, so okay. 10.30, you know, we'll assemble out yeah. there, and, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll get our prayers in order and what we got to do and mm -hmm. line up okay. at 11 o'clock. And, uh, and we can't do this, the Patriot part of it, any other day than Veterans Day because yeah. it's the 11th month, 11th day, 11th yeah. hour. Yeah, right. Right. That's when it gets stuck. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. the conflict with the schools or whoever else is doing it, they can they can do what they want. I'm not going to tell them they can't have a self yeah. you know, celebration yeah. because, again, right. we, we don't get the masses at this thing anyway. Right. Mm -hmm. no. yeah. it, really what we... <coughs> What we wanted to do is just, it seemed like there were pockets of people doing different things on Veterans Day and nobody really had an idea of what was going on. Um, and so we just thought, it, you know, maybe that's where we could come in and help out. Yeah. Okay, so are we going to advertise this? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Who, who's going to advertise it? I know my bar manager, Jen, she'll put it out on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, but that's about as far as we go over there doing anything with any mm -hmm. kind of ads. So uh, what we can do is on our BAC Facebook page and the town Facebook page, we can get that out there. And, um, you know, we had good participation in from the select board in the Memorial Day Parade and the Fourth of July Parade because we actually went to one of their, their meetings and asked them. So that's something that I can work with Bob on, to get on their agenda for maybe next Wednesday and invite them out. Um, and the, you know, the, the board's trying to be more active. They're, they're trying to, to support these things. So um, yeah, we, we can just start off small this year and then let us know what we can do to help. And if you know, you're like, ah, you know what, we're good. Then we'll, we'll back off. We just kind of felt like Maybe there's something that we, we could do here. And, no, and I mean, like I mean any, any help we can get. I mean, we're yeah. always scrambling to, sure to, to get our stuff done because there's not very many of us from either right. host. Right. And in, the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the past, you know, we, we, we more or less invite people by word of mouth. 
yeah. uh, and try to remind them that it's this week. Yeah. Uh, you know, try to try to just try to get more people there. Right. Uh, it's tough when it's when it's windy and it's rainy and all no, that other stuff. You don't know. Yeah. You got less than the rest. They won't come, but right. we'll be there. You don't know, you know? You don't know what you're going to get. But so. the main thing is to get it out and invite. Uh, Dave Meridian, you don't have, have to invite him. He knows. He'll be there. He is every year. Uh, yeah. Senator Moore has his 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 thing over in uh, Millbury. Yeah. But maybe we get Senator, Senator Moore to say, hey, one year we'll go to Grafton, one we'll go to Millbury, one go, you've got like three different towns. Go to one town each year and, and go in a circle and, you know. He was at Memorial Day two years ago. Yes. Yeah. 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 You know, he came busting in. He, he yeah. wasn't even there. All of a sudden, he can't. Yeah. Yeah. running in and like, said, can I say something? I yeah, said, well, like, well, I didn't know you were coming, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I don't. I don't understand his schedule with that because he's been at the Fourth of July parade for us two years in a row now. Yeah. Well, um, he also came in. But nobody yeah, else has the Fourth of July parade. Right. So. Well, and no, there are Sutton and other places places do because that's why we got interviewed is because we were holding ours even though it was supposed to rain. Okay. So that was why ours kind of got more attention because okay. uh, we were so. I mean, invite police chief, invite fire yeah. chief, and any any officers who want to come to any of the. You know, well, all that, I mean, mean do we don't. Do we want to do anything with any kind of scouts or anything? For, yeah, <coughs> I've, I've contacted them. Like I've always said, contacted it's, them. It's a very, it's a very quick ceremony. Yep, it's right, not like yep. Memorial Day. Right. So you hate to, but but it's hard on a weekday because you, know, you know, obviously, unless you're off, off from school that day, it, uh, everybody's in school. What day is that on this year? We'll do it on. No, Veterans Day. Veterans Day. Wednesday. Wednesday or Thursday, I thought. Yeah. Yeah. What about uh, since we're preaching to the choir? We no, it's a Saturday. Yeah, it is. It's Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Saturday. Yeah. Okay, so, so anybody that's available to come out, come out, scout uniform, and yeah. can, uh, I've already reached out to John, John. Um, and I'm thinking I might ask Holly to uh, put together yeah, the Saturday agenda. A Friday. I'm already talking to John, so I can just get the agenda. I honestly, it's going to be whatever the church is doing, and. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the BFW post event mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah. and then we'll we'll see what kind of reactions I think we get from that see if anybody else is like oh hey you know we do something too and then maybe we can last year. slowly kind of coordinate this and have the crowds just something yeah I'll ask Holly Saturday, you're to invite a lot more you, you said you know the Girl Scouts right I uh, have, have I have contacted the Girl Scouts. Okay. And uh Holly's got uh I think one oh six and I got I got one oh seven on vice and vice versa. Okay. But uh, I can make contact with my scouts. Any you know, any of the leaders, any of the any of the scouts that got that day off or whatever or, or, or like this like they say Saturday. Come in uniform and, and help us help help us do our thing. Yes, yeah, Stanley will appreciate this. I got this in the email today from uh, uh what's her name? Governor Healy. Oh, yeah. oh. No. <laughs> okay, so it says Executive Office Veteran Services, Governor Mara T. Healy, Lieutenant Governor Kim Driscoll, Secretary John Santiago, invite you to join us for Veterans <coughs> Day celebration. Ready for, ready for this? Yeah. November 10th. Oh, well, they're calling oh, that the oh, holiday. Yeah. Oh, so really? Right. Stanley and I'm Marines. That's a Marine Corps birthday. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. On a calendar. I'm Marines, I'm going to go to this. Thing. Yeah, oh. that's right. <laughs> November 10th. Okay. November 10th at 10 a.m. I knew it was 10. <laughs> I knew it was 10. At Faneuil Hall Marketplace in Boston. So yes. if anybody's interested in going. Boy, you got an invite. I, I don't know why I got uh, this, but that came today. Well, now you got to go there. You got to be there now. Yeah, I, 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 you. No, you don't. You got you to do the QR code. QR code. QR code. Yeah. And, and respond. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, that'll work good. So um, we'll contact the scouts. Uh, I'll get the agenda together and work with uh, Bob. We'll get on the, the okay, So if you do get the scouts, I mean, you hate to get those kids all dressed up and then just not do anything. Right. right. Yeah. You know, so you're going to want them to be part of the ceremony somehow. And I, I don't know what you want them to do. Yeah. But uh, if they're going to stand by uh, during the ceremony, which is, again, another learning thing. Yeah. Uh, 
to come out and see right. what happens on Veterans Day. Maybe they don't need to do anything. Yeah. But the parents still have to get them there. And, yep. Yeah. Right. Kind of I know. So we had a conversation with uh, Holly at one point. And she brought up that, you know, we, we tend to only bring the scouts out on the sad days. Memorial Day, mm -hmm. you know, helping with the cemeteries. She's like, we are we should also be highlighting the other parts of it. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm good. I know you mentioned maybe in uniform, but uh, that's a good point. Maybe we just say, hey, don't worry about your uniform. Just, just, come, just come. come. Come and pay attention to this. I mean, and, it's not her. Uh, you know, showcase themselves as right. Boy Scouts right. or Girl Scouts or whatever. Right. And if yeah. they just want to be, you know, a spectator as to what goes on in Veterans Day, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. But if they want to do something or if they decide that they would like to read something, right. I mean, we're, we're all good with that. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then, and then again, it could be the option. Could be yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, it could be. So exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what you're going to get in November, you know. I know. You know, might have to move it to the parking lot. <laughs> you know. You would, we could be cut. We're always on over from the tent. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, maybe that's what we do for those scouts. You throw up some canvas tents and some cots and be like, yeah, there you, know. you go. <laughs> go get the full experience. Yeah. 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 See you Monday morning, right? Yeah. yeah. And no. you got to salt the, the cot legs, you know, halfway through. So in the middle of the night, it collapses on you. Yeah. You know, I, I, I do know that, you know, in the past, uh, by Memorial Day, uh, and on maybe maybe more so on Veterans Day. Sometimes we get a bunch of um, letters, cards, and school has the kids write, you know, yeah. thank the veterans, yeah. and they come to the post and they yeah. post them on the board or something. Maybe they would like to read some thank yous for yeah. the, for the, the veterans uh, on Veterans yeah. Day or something. That's true. That what was what was the thing that we always did at the elementary school? And not grass. Yeah, I know. We used to round the sun and with the, the flag day. Flag, that's flag day. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was flag day with the kids all sing? Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was flag day. Go, go in uniform and uh, yeah. and have a, have a get-together in the auditorium with about 10,000 kids? Yeah. Yeah. So will you be talking to Holly? Uh, yeah, what? yeah, we'll talk to uh, us. See if they want to do something. Yeah. If, if they don't, I mean, fine. But, yeah. you know. If you want to reach out on this, I'll reach out on, to Holly on the scouts uh, for the briefs. Okay. How about that? Or right, right, right. right. They don't have to. No. I mean, yeah. They, no. they, or they could just come as you know townies and see what goes on. Oh, you guys mentioned something about a, a reading or something like that. Okay. Uh, like we have two readings for Memorial Day. Is there anything Veterans Day appropriate, Walter? Short, short poem, something. Oh, that, Walter always reads something on there. Or uh, Veterans, Veterans Day. Day. Yeah, I think. Uh, I've, I've got all kinds of prayers there. I'm sure I got a couple that would be, uh, you know, for that particular. <coughs> so what I, what I can do is the same thing I did for Memorial Day. Is I'll, I'll, I'll challenge you. Get you get two you get two readings. I get I get six uh, sets of Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, Cub Scouts, all nine yards. What was the young fellow that I read it last year? He he was one of the, okay. He was good. the way the way he got it. Uh, Stan was, I had six eight people. To, to offer this two readings to. And I didn't know any other way to do it other than with a timestamp on an email. I put all six all six troop names in, in one email. I said, the first two to give, the first two to respond to me, get a, get the first reading, yeah. you get the second reading. Mm -hmm. The third one response is one of those other two doesn't show up you guys. And yeah. And, and it works. Yeah. And that way I'm not playing favorites with anybody. Yeah. Yep. You know, and, mm -hmm. and so uh, I think I'd like to do it that way. Okay. Okay. That Veterans Day is great. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That works. Okay. Yeah. That works. Yeah. No. Okay. That right. okay. always works. So, so yeah, we'll, we can do that. Okay. All right. Any other questions, comments on Veterans Day? Uh, so the last thing, is there any other thing that's not on the agenda that anybody would like to bring up? Uh, you know, I always do. Yeah. So let them do that's it. That's why I'm looking let, at you. Let them yeah. first, and then I'll close. All right. So we'll go board members. Anything? Do we want to talk about picking up flags? Oh, yeah. Or is that another, yeah. That no. another day? No. You can go ahead that's and bring so, That's so. Okay. So I had mentioned at our last meeting, if we put the flags out for an organized manner, I didn't know if there was any organized way of retrieving them, salvage, salvaging the good ones. And even if we don't reuse them on Memorial Day, 
as you mentioned, maybe 4th of July, we have them at the common and we give them out as a goodwill gesture. What so, we've done in the past is we have a barrel that has a bunch of holes in the barrel that does it. And we stick them in there on Memorial Day and we'll put it on at the end of the parking lot. And, okay. And we give away all the flags that are worth giving away. Okay. We could do that on July, July 4th. You could do whatever okay. you wanted to do. Okay. Just, uh, I, Bill Hanley had emailed me. He wanted to know about the flags also. Right. And I said that I had a meeting tonight and I said we'd talk about that. You just got to make sure that the markers don't get moved. The yeah, markers don't have to stay, right. stay right. at yeah. the, uh, yeah. and, uh, and and I think Andy brought up a good point, is that when, when it, after raining and stuff, that mm -hmm. they, those flag, the wood stick swells up, yeah, and you they, can't get them out. Right. Right. So you got to wait till they dry a little bit, and then, you, then they'll all slide right, right out of there. Men don't, two, men don't have two dry days, but they uh, slide right out. The, uh, the okay. markers have to be have to stay there. We don't want to go searching for graves. Oh, yes. Day, right. you know? uh -huh. yeah. So so the markers have to stay there, but we haven't decided who's going to pick them up yet. Right. St. Phillips is done. My wife and uh, her six or eight people went out. Uh, Tuesday or Wednesday last week, St. Phillips all picked up all clean. When they picked up the markers, they put, uh, picked up the flags, they take the head of the marker and try to push it down a couple inches so it's, it has a better chance of staying put right. during the winter. Right. Yeah. Okay? So that's what I would ask of you guys if you, go, if you go out or if we decide to help. People that generally pick these things up in, in the last couple of years are the cemetery people themselves. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. We put them out, we should probably get together and get some guys to go pick them up, okay? And, and, but again, uh, Sean, we, we need a place to sort this stuff. And uh, mm -hmm. Tom said that the, the, uh, his uh, uh, pavilion over there is all closed up for the water. Is it well, there's, there's an end of it that's open. You okay. can, you can, can sort, you can sort, sort it up. Is it light sure. enough to yeah, see there's in there? Or? One end of it's on the side it's open. There's okay. one table that's not tipped over okay. Okay. that you can go in there and sort so I've, I've, okay. I've, I've got a trunk full of things and, uh, of, the, of the old ones. That, uh, and, and there are probably 40 that we've put out in the last two months mm -hmm. because of because of variants right. and, and replacement of ones that... Uh, yeah. Uh, storm damage, that kind of thing. Right. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, yeah, I'll I'll, uh, I'll help if if you want. Uh, my wife's got the six or eight people. Mm -hmm. uh, like we helped Carmen put them out up at up at uh, Pine Grove. And another group went over to Riverside. The yeah. same thing. So you guys put up what you can and will augment with with what we have. Maybe the some some guys on this on this committee can walk. Uh, I I can put stuff I can put stuff in a bucket. Right. I volunteer to do that, but you, right. guys, you guys are going to have to go shag I, I did talk to Daryl about the, well, when would be like a drop dead date to get him out of there. Mm -hmm. And uh, because there was some concern about his machinery blowing him over. Yeah. He's not using that machine in okay. the cemeteries. Okay. So he said, you're fine, you know, if you want to wait till after Veterans Day. It's fine. As long as we don't, it's, yeah. it's, it's going to be rainy the next 10 days, off right. and on. Mm -hmm. uh, the more the more those sticks stay out there, in the, right. if they're up uh, if they're up till Veterans Day, right. and we've had a lot of rain, I don't want to break any 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 markers that these things out. Well, yeah. Do we want to try to get people and do it prior to? Whenever we get enough people on okay. after two dry days, we'll just set okay. up set up a list of anybody who wants to help. Mm -hmm. okay. And I, if I'm I'm, I'm so retired, I guess I'm the flags go. We'll pick it after two days. No, after two days. Today's the day to meet. Okay. All right. All right. I'll uh, I'm gonna go knock on some neighbor's doors. I mean, do we want to do it after Veterans Day, or do we? It's got to be done after. That's better, right. better after. I'm serious because <coughs> we'll get people who come into our place. So okay. How come we don't have a flag on our father's grave? No. And okay. The veterans Day was so we took them out early because they got rained on or something like that. Yeah. I'm telling you, people come in here hot. Okay. Well, okay. So okay. you have so to that's wait that's to that's after that's Veterans yeah. Day. Okay. okay. Yeah. okay. I mean, the good thing is, is they they come off a lot easier. We don't have to go looking for them. They just, just go pick them up. Right. Yeah. yeah. Stick right. them out of that. Yeah. Yeah. The, the main thing yeah. is if it's struck, <clears throat> don't 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 mess with it. But several of us have lunches and just go around. And, and yeah, they will. About people yeah, you will can't buy, pull it by hand. You try to go for years ago. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So after, after, after the. Jeez. You said that y'all normally give them out on Memorial Day? Huh? Yeah. Um, oh, Memorial uh, Day. We usually put a bucket out on the street on Memorial Day and, uh, in front of the post, but you can do that anywhere. You know, we have a, one of those plastic big 
drums yeah. and we drilled a bunch of holes in it and we stick the flag to it and then we just went yeah. free just take the flag, you know, okay. if, they're, if they're any good. Do they normally get taken? Oh yeah, right. oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, they do. Yeah. We, we kept getting asked by kids yeah. for 4th of July, so we were trying to, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they go. Some of them get extra ones for the 4th of July, give them to them. Send them over a bunch of boxes. What's that? Well, he said, but as far as, as 4th of July, they were looking, you were looking for flags? Yeah, we had yeah. a lot of little kids asking us for we'll flags. Say, we'll do we'll save them. Save them? Yeah, yeah. It works. Yeah. yeah, we can come yeah. grab the bucket and yeah, we'll just sure. put it out on the common. Yeah. Moving on like that. Yeah, we can save yeah. buckets. I've a couple cases. Oh, no problem. Okay. All right. Anything else, Sean? Oh, I'm, I'm good. Stop Thank you. Uh, two things. Uh, I've got a guy named Fletcher. Uh, he's a uh, West Rose Life Crafting veteran. He was uh, buried at St. Philip Cemetery in 2014. Uh, he was buried on his girlfriend's plot. Rooney planted them, okay? Uh, James Fletcher, I believe, the first name. Um, St. Philip would not allow a marker, would not allow a flag, would not allow anything on this veteran's grave because the plot he was buried in was not totally paid for. It's their policy, Britain policy. I, I fought, with a guy, fought with a guy that ran the cemetery for three years, and when he was dead step, he said, look, I'll take a, I'm taking up a collection of all the veterans. I need 400 bucks. Okay, that's what, that's what the, the last payment on that, on that plot was. And they, and they held it. They've been holding that on their thinking since 2014. In fact, they finally got, finally retired. I went and talked to the new guy. He says, I will not prevent a veteran from having some type of uh, honoring. And he said, uh, uh, you, you want to put a marker on his grave? Fine. If you want to put a flag on the grave, fine. In fact, if you want to put into the VA to get a flat stone for this gentleman, I will allow it. Mm -hmm. So he waived the $400 fee. Yeah. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, I can only take so much from you guys. And I, I, I tried, went out to West, Westboro VFW. I went all around and even in Worcester. I said, hey, can you just... Give me twenty five bucks towards this towards this mm -hmm. this four hundred buck arrears. I want to have this guy on it. So okay. So now he's got a mark. He's got a flag, and he has will very soon have a VA, a VA provided flat stone. Yeah. Okay. That's All nice. the issue right now is seventy five bucks to install it. They waive the four hundred bucks, right. but it's it's I am I am. On the hook for seventy five bucks. Mm -hmm. I got one one lady out of, out in Saint Philip's. I, I related the yeah. story to her, and she says, "Here's ten oh, bucks for you seventy five. Right. Okay. <laughs> so if I if I can get twenty five from twenty five from uh, sure. uh, from you guys and twenty five yeah. from you guys, yeah. I'll pay the other fifteen, and we got seventy five. We'll get it. We'll get it installed. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Is that so fair? Yeah. Thank you. Hell of a deal. Good. Yeah. Last last thing. I have, uh, I showed uh, uh, Carmen, I think, I, think, I think I showed Stan, uh, the article I'm putting out, on, out in uh, uh, Grafton News, the community advocate, Blackstone Valley uh, Express. Uh, I, I'm trying to get it into Worcester Telegram and any place else that will take it. I want to know if there's any other Vietnam veterans like this guy right here that's, uh, that's authorized to be on that plaque that I do not have a DB-214 for to prove that he, that he is eligible. I'm betting them and Jeff Farrell is betting them, okay? I have two, this is my third one. We've got, we've got uh, I think we're up to 188 or something like that, okay? I'm hoping, and I, I'm closing it out on 1231. Why so long? Because we, we, I have put out seven requests for quotes to make this plaque. We've got two back. They're, they're 15, 16,000, but they ain't cheap. It's a cast bronze plaque with 188, 188 right now names on it. Okay, all of these are vetted with uh, DB214, so uh, they should be there unless they unless they say I don't want to be, they will be. Okay, but my uh, I give them a 1231 deadline. We're putting in for it this uh, grant they call it SHRAB, uh, uh, Massachusetts Massachusetts Heritage Grant. Uh, we put we, if we put it in for it uh, three years ago, we'd have we'd have been doing this again for 60 more names. 
okay, between what the state had, between what uh, Dave Callahan on, had on the list, and 93 others like Carmen and, and, uh, and Stan, that for some reason, the state doesn't know you have DD-214s. Uh, I didn't know that you guys are actually Vietnam veterans. I mean, this is insane. Why not? Okay. Give me well, a they had to know. They paid me three hundred dollars when I got oh, no, back. Oh no! Yes, that's what I'm <laughs> saying. Yeah. But but what? what well, I gave them for my some legs, reason, so. the ninety-three <laughs> names that they that are not vetted, they are already on the first plaque. Okay, I don't want some veterans home now. Hmm. The new one will look, look exactly like the one that's there. It'll have six columns. It'll be, it'll be bra uh, br bright bronze. Uh, uh, 60 inches tall, 35, uh, 35 inches tall, 60 inches wide, with all these names on it. And anybody that comes in after 1231, that's, that's my cutoff, because we want to go to press with, once we get this grant, we should know sometime in December how much money they're going to give us. Then we can decide which one of these vendors is the one that's going to create the plaque, and I'm gonna, we want to give them yeah. the go on January 1. Well, anybody yeah. else comes in after January 1, they could add it on the flag, just not alphabetically in between everybody else. So go with the I don't know. I don't want anything else. Okay. We'll watch. Uh, Nathan for the Korean guy? No, no this, this one. Is, <coughs> this is just the Vietnam uh, veteran. I, 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 I guess it's era. It's, it's, it is era. You know, so the they, first, have, they the didn't have plaque. to be no, in the Vietnam. first plaque is era. And we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't. You know, I got it. It's a big thing with that. I know that. Uh, the longest war we've ever had is Afghanistan. Now, were you telling me uh, that all those years, okay, and I understand somebody putting a uniform on and being in this country and not being called up. Yep. Where guys went. Now, you got to think about this. Are you telling me the guys from Afghanistan that didn't go to Afghanistan are going to be put on the flak one day instead of all the ones that got killed? If there's any, if there's any on it now, yes. That's what it's looking like. So, well, so in other words, I'm not, I'm not. What I'm trying to say is, if you go with an era of a war, yeah, yeah. that's everybody that's They've been in the service. Right. So, it was in either either drafted or enlisted. Yeah, that's right. that's okay. Right. I, if, if I can, yeah. I just, I go both ways on this a little bit, okay? We're only talking about the people from this town. Correct. That joined the service and were eligible to be in a war zone at yeah. the time, they were, yeah. whether it was Korea yeah. or whether it yeah. was Vietnam or whether it was Afghanistan. They still could have been taken to go fight in, in the actual yeah, war. Yeah, they were there. They were, they were there. So... We're only recognizing the people from our town, in our town. We're not recognizing the masses yeah. from everywhere else. So, so I've been talking with Andy. Like we're gonna have to. I think we're gonna have to have some better guardrails when we talk about new ones: Iraq, Afghanistan. Because on top of Iraq and Afghanistan, there's also ONE Operation Noble Eagle, which everybody that was in the military got mm -hmm. participation in. And I'm kind of holding off on bringing those memorials up until we figure out this Vietnam plaque and yeah, kind yeah. of and come up with, okay, how can we do this? Because I think we're going to have to take it slow and it's going to be spread out over some years. Yeah. On, the memo on, the, on the plaque up at the Municipal Center now, on, on the, the big, big, big plaque, it's mm. a huge one. Yeah. Doesn't it have? Doesn't it put? If you if you go through all the names, there's there's a star that yeah. they put after a name. Is that the ones killed that have been action. killed? Killed in action. Killed in action. Yeah, there's, there's uh, several for Civil War, several for Spanish American War, World War One, World War Two. Yes, uh, specifically. We had the ones. We had the K -A -K -I -A -R, right. uh, or or like like Mr. Sampson, okay, in the service during the war, got disease, died. Yes, he, he, they're included with that. Uh, because there's a lot of stars on that one yeah. in the front of that monument. Yes, there's there a are. lot of them. Oh, yes, there are. Civil, but some, the, that, civil now, law should have its own of just KAAs. If the star is there, 
And there's not a star there. In other words, they weren't killed. They were during World War II. I think so. I'm not sure. So we, they were yeah, World in War II. uniform during World War II. In uniform during World War II. Uh, I'm not sure that everybody on the on the uh, World War II plaque. I haven't seen really. I mean, any, even on Vietnam plaque. I know there are several there that that uh, did not go. Okay. Did not. And there and there's. I I can't be there. I'd love to be there with all you guys, but I'm not a Grafton veteran. Okay. I'm a. I'm for, unfortunately I'm a Worcester veteran. If Mr. Mishashik had had his way, I'd have been on that plaque too, because I was, you know, I was sitting, sitting, in, sitting in your post having oh, a beer when he came around and asked people if they wanted to be there. Okay, I, I'm a Vietnam vet in country. Mm -hmm. I'm not on any plaque that I know of. I'm from the city of Worcester. Big deal, uh -huh. you know. There's uh, ten thousand of us, but they only, they only. Have you ever seen the monument in Northbridge? Have you ever seen the monument in Northbridge? Yeah. Coming down the hill. And they got that gym on the right. Yep. It's over there. It's all Vietnam. They have it. A big, big thing in there. Where everybody that served in Vietnam right. served in Vietnam. Yes. And then they have the ones that got, they have the ones with the helmet upside down yep. that got killed there. Um, they have that that monument there right. um, that everyone served right. in country. Now it's I I'm with with Carmen. I mean, if you if you were called up, you were called up. You were gone. You were gone. Yeah. But it, what I'm trying to get at it is the point of especially Afghanistan. What mm. happened to those young kids? And at the end, there's going to be thousands and thousands and thousands of military of all branches that were in Afghanistan. Right. And then. The ones that, of course, the ones that we lost, they got killed at the very, very end. You know, it goes with that. But do you take everybody that put a uniform on during the Afghanistan war that was in the military? And he's like, Get well, I, I, I think that, you know, you're kind of on the on the right track with the star. I mean, the the plaque should almost depict the people that were in country, country. yeah, yeah, and the people who were just. In the service during the right. time frame. Right. Well, and then, so the, if if the plaque could you know depict that anybody that has a star right. next to is, the name was in country was right. in Vietnam inside. Maybe, maybe leave the star for uh, KIA, but have well, some have kind of an asterisk, asterisk or something an asterisk just to the left of name, something that we could put on uh, for those that were right. in country. Yes, I think that's why we, it'd be better if we do the three plaques. The Operation Noble Eagle. Would be anybody. Iraq would just be those who went to Iraq, and yeah. Afghanistan would just be those who went to Afghanistan. Because I was in Afghanistan twice. I was in Qatar once. Yes. And in Qatar, I was supporting Iraq and Afghanistan, but yes. I didn't get credit right. for those. I mean, is it there isn't anything anywhere for Desert Storm, right? Iraqi Freedom. Uh, or any of those uh, yeah. things that led up to it's a little strong one for Persia, uh, I think, on the, on the wall. Persian conflict, yeah. uh, but 1991. I don't know, Justin. You know, if you, I don't know if you just put had... them all on one plaque, you ended up with a lot of plaques, yeah. <laughs> right? I know, and, and so that's why I'm gonna, <laughs> if they I want to kind of, I gotta think through it a little bit. I think sure. Desert Storm is gonna be the right. easy one, um, we can easily send something out for that. But when you get to the last 20 years, I mean, that's, it is, it's a nightmare because then on top of the Operation Noble Eagle, you also got credit if you just deployed, like I said, I was in Qatar, so I got expeditionary credit for the war on terrorism. So do you approach it that way and say the war on terrorism and Operation Noble Eagle, and then it doesn't matter where you are. I, it's a nightmare. Yeah. Um, and, you know, then there's other conflicts that also went on during that time that well, got, we're getting credit for. Got, uh, on that other <clears> ship, <throat> I mean, we got Lebanon, Granada. Yeah. We got the uh, Persian Gulf. A couple Persian Gulf people. But I want to do it smartly because, you know, like you mentioned, you, you're going to end up having an entire building full of plaques. Yeah. <laughs> and then it, it loses meaning at that point. Well, so, so it does. you know, I think we got to... We, we got to think through it. We got to do it smartly, um, and we got to.
approach it the right way. I agree. Yes, yeah. so I totally. Agree. Yeah. I agree. Um, you know, so it's some do to go do we it. look forward? We've got I don't know how many plaques on the wall now, and it's uh, it's going to be astronomical <coughs> amount of time if you're going to go back beyond Vietnam to figure out in country versus home right. in service. Okay, I think we have to leave the big plaques alone. Yeah, World War One, World War Two. I don't know if we could do enough re research to find those. Obviously, KIAs, they know about their mm. marks, okay? Mm. Uh, I don't know which, how many weren't, how many haven't, or how many did, okay? But we, like, like Sonia says, we have to go forward. We've got to finish it now. That'll be done hopefully sometime in January. Hopefully it's hanging on the wall before Memorial Day. Thank God. I've been working on this friggin' thing since 2009. Well, you're going to have to learn from okay. the mistakes on yes. the Vietnam War. And yeah. Yeah. Go forward yeah. with yep. that. I mean, I've got three people on here, too, that are uh, classified as GW terrorism. Yep, Global yeah. War on Terrorism. Global That's War. the yeah. expedition yeah. area we'll yeah. take. So, yeah. here also. so, um, so we, we decide who we're uh, going forward, who we're going to honor, how we're going to honor them. I think just a little asterisk next to the name and put it on the bottom of the plaque. In country, country, okay. That's that's I think that would that's be the my, easiest way. But, then, but guys, look, I'm not a grafted veteran. I'm I'm an adopted grafted veteran. I'm doing this for you guys, not for me, okay. Right. But it's got to be done. I'm on this committee. I said I'd do it. I'm doing it. Uh, tell me what you want, and I'll I'll, I'll include that on the fi on the final spec yeah. when, they, when they make this thing, okay. So it, I, what I, kind of symbol are we talking? Because it's got to be. Could just be an asterisk. Just an asterisk. Just an asterisk. And then, and then we'll put they were something out of bottom in, in, in the wall. I mean, my brother, I have a brother-in-law was on the wall up there, and, and I mean, he spent his entire time in Italy skiing. Mm -hmm. So you yeah. know, yeah, right. yeah. 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 yeah, you know. Yeah. So we'll use Desert Storm as kind of the okay. So once again, Desert Storm in my mind right now is going to be different than the last twenty years because of how inter there were people that went to Afghanistan, people that went to Iraq, and people that supported the GWAT, Global War on Terror. There'll be on three, three different plots. Right. So that one I, is really where it's going to take us a lot of time and, and thought. Desert Storm, I think it's going to be easier. We can play around with where you in country and, and how that looks and what we want to do. Um, and I think the lessons learned from this one, obviously, Andy, taking... You ever going to finish? Like I said, even the like 10 plus people. years. Yeah, so 2009. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in fact, 2009. You got this guy Al Alfred Walker. Yeah. 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 He's been he's been bugging me since 2009. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And that's a long freaking time. And I, every year I said, yeah, yeah, we're going to do it. And three and four years ago, I was on soldiers, soldiers and sailors. We were that close to getting it done, and uh, somebody <clears> lost <throat> the paperwork and never got in for the grant. <sighs> Okay, but if it had, like I said, we'd have skipped 60 people. We'd have been doing this again this year for 60 people. Yeah. And it's insane. The war is done. Every, right. I want to get these names I, up for some people are still well, alive that can I, see it. I like the fact that everybody's being recognized because they were all subject to being taken at any time. point. You know, you know, support groups, whether they were in Italy or whether they were in Thailand or wherever. You know, I mean... Um, they could have been activated to go to Vietnam, to wherever, or Afghanistan. Or somebody has had to be in Japan or, yeah. or some of the other bases. You know, right? you know. I'm, I'm thinking of the poor guys that had to drive you to work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, a lot of lessons learned. I think we'll apply those in the Desert Storm plaque and then... Um, like I said, we'll, we'll probably do another meeting like this to talk about the GWAT last 20 years and what that looks like once we kind of have some ideas. But um, yeah, I, it's been in my mind. I'm, I'm just taking it slow because I want to make sure we do it right. Yeah, you need to do that. That's good. Anything else? Last thing. Would this, would this, in, this designate in, in country designation on the second plaque, we're going to have to do the same thing on the first plaque. I have all the DD all the DD two four teams. I can I can verify. Okay. Can they they can add that to the existing? They can plan? add to the existing. Exist, exist. It's it's a, it's a uh, what do you call it a uh, high tech glue or something. Wow. Uh, it, it, these are cast plaques. These these things are, are poured uh, cast mm -hmm. iron uh, or bronze. 
and the names are cast, and, and what what you see what you see is not glued on letters. These these are actually yeah. formed letters when they pour it. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this will be a stick on. Yeah. Uh, and uh, if, if they call it a, a high tech glue, and it, you, you can't chisel it off. Last thing on this thing, Stan, you told me. Simon, you told me. George, I think, told me. There's three names on the Vietnam flag, the first flag, that are not yep. veterans. Not crap, not uh, uh, Vietnam veterans. Not Vietnam not, nothing, nothing that says they're from Grafton, nothing. I don't know who they are. I personally am not going to take their names off. This board probably won't unless you guys come up with a with a with a with a petition of some sorts. How badly do you feel dishonored because they're there and didn't serve? I thought we did. I or do we just leave them and they say they didn't serve them? at all? Right. Yeah. How did they get on there? I just know. What I'm, under, what I'm understanding is the same way I would have got on there. Somebody, uh, I was in a post having a cold beer with Mr. Mashashik and, and uh, Stevie Garson doesn't remember, but but uh, Mr. Gars, Mr. Uh, Mashashik come up to me and say, hey, "You're you're a Vietnam vet." I said, "Yeah, you want to be on the you want to be on the plaque?" I said, "I can't. I'm a Worcester veteran. It doesn't make any difference." Yeah. That's how those three got on. Oh. Well, <laughs> so are they veterans? That are they I don't veterans? know. I don't know. You, who are they? I don't know. I don't have the names. That's what I'm saying. Who said that? Who who, who said there's three names on there that shouldn't be there? I don't know. I don't. But, know. I don't know. But that's what. I know that, at least one. Okay. Did, I never left this country. That I know for a fact. But was he in the service during Vietnam? Yeah. Is he an era veteran? That's why he's on there. That's why he's on there. Okay. The, the things. This is what goes up. But if he's not. Me. But if he's not a Grafton veteran. Period. Yeah, he was. Should be on fire. Yeah, see, that, that's what I was, I was saying to you. I know of a lot of names that are on this there. This guy was in the reserves. It, it, you know what? He, he was in the reserves, you know, and, and just recently, the American Legion recognized all those people that were in service during, you had to have certain dates to become yeah. an yep. American yep. Legion member. Yeah. Right. right. That got opened up from yes. 1962 yes, to yeah. 1975. Right. So if you were, in the service between those dates, right. you can be an American Legion. That's guy. right. Up until then, you had to be in during certain dates. Correct. Mm -hmm. You look on the back of the American Legion card, not anymore. It doesn't say it anymore. Really? But uh, it, now, now all you have to do is have been in the service between 1962 and 1975 to be a Vietnam era right. Right. veteran. So we are 23 minutes over the meeting. Is this something that we can talk about? I'm all done. I'm all done. Okay. Oh, yeah. I, I don't want to, you know, it's it's no. an important conversation. I don't want to, uh, uh, anybody feel dishonored, but I, I do want to respect people's time. Okay. Um, Motion to adjourn. Before we do that, our next meeting will be Tuesday, January 16th at, uh, I don't know why this says 1900. Yeah, no, it should be 1900. 1900. Not really sure about the agenda this time. Uh, 1900. I have a motion to adjourn. Can I get a second? Yeah. Second. Roll call vote on the motion to adjourn, Andy? Second. Uh, uh, I am. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also. I'm going to go. Aye. Huh? Sean, aye. Justin, aye. This meeting is adjourned. Thank you all very much.